Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. So if you watched our last video, you will have seen that we are pregnant with twins. Within that video, we also spoke about the struggles that we have faced to actually get pregnant and our trying to conceive journey. Hand on my heart, I find this kind of stuff really hard to watch. Yeah, um, editing this has been really difficult. This is the first video that we filmed over the course of literal years. It was really like emotional editing it, but we know that it's going to be super yeah. important for people in the same situation. So let's start right at the beginning where I told Elle that I was ready to become a dad and start trying for a baby. This was right at the end of 2020 and this was her reaction. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying now. Why? Because I just thought about like to tell people. I was just thinking of like we used to tell Taz. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's very excited. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Uh, I can't believe that like, I'm at the stage now. I can't believe you've agreed to it. <laughs> agreed to it like it's a contract. <laughs> <laughs> We started off our trying to conceive journey by just using an app called Flow where basically you log the start of your cycle and then it gives you your fertile days which you will release an egg. However, for four months we had no luck. It's just not fair. But every month I had like symptoms of pregnancy so like I had sickness, I had aches in my tummy, I had like dizziness. You had a, you had the sores that you were googling. Oh yeah, like they say that you can get these sores on your lips. However, looking back, it was probably because I came off my contraceptive pill and we started trying, so I hadn't actually known my cycle about it. I've just been like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it's like my body is telling me that I am. I've got to talk so quietly because Fab is still asleep upstairs. I had to tell him to have a lie in. this is it yeah and getting excited yeah um and yeah we would just keep getting negative result after negative result so that's when it was supposed to start that's where we are <laughs> do we do it or not i don't know you want to do it let's do it huh it's all right i'll come and do it with you come on So you've got to wait five minutes now. Five minutes. I'm nervous. nervous. It's scary, isn't it? Yeah. I look at us as well. If this is actually the one that we find out, then we're going to look like... I feel sick. I know, I, feel, I felt sick every month. Mm. Wait until yeah. we go and turn it over, then your heart will be really sick. And especially after last month. Last month was quite traumatic, wasn't it? Because it gave us false positive. Oh, <laughs> ten seconds. Go and get it. Come on. No, don't be disheartened. I'm not going to be disheartened. It is what it is. You want to do it? You do it. You do it. You do it. No, I don't like it. No, we have to be prepared. No, it's fine. Look, don't get your hopes up. I'm not getting my hopes no, up. No, no, neither am I. How do you wait? Well, how do you know? How do you know? Two lines. No, I do. I feel so sick. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter what it is. All right. One. Again. Is that just one? Again. Oh well. Oh well. Try again. It's okay. It's okay. What? Don't, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Why does my body keep doing making me late there? Get through, and we'll sing hallelujah. What is that to you right now? Do you want to do another one more? 
just to be sure. But let's talk in a way that can give us some faith to go around. I'm not even doing on this one. We'll all tie it as we can okay. when it's better again. Keep trying. So after four months of trying and using the app and that not working, we had a look into what else we could try and Ellen found ovulation sticks. Yeah. What have you got there, Al? <laughs> I think they're called ovulation sticks. So from this morning. This is what we're gonna try now. Yeah, this is what we're gonna try. So it tells you when you're fertile, does it? Yeah, I think it's like a pregnancy test that you wait on. Right. And then it like shows you whether you're fertile or not. Hmm. Cause I do get, I get quite bad ovulation pain. Right. But clearly we're doing so. <laughs> Maybe we're not doing anything wrong. It's more for peace of mind. And yeah, but so that's, then obviously that's two months, so you'd have to then, after two, I hope after two months, we wouldn't have to be doing it. So. Which are these sticks that you wear on, and they tell you when your four most fertile days are by testing for two hormones, isn't it? Two well, it, they peak. When that surges, it means that your body is getting ready to release an egg. So once you've reached your peak, it means that your egg is going to release within the next 24 to 48 hours. Some people, they release their egg a lot sooner. So yeah, we started to use these. We started off with the clear blue ovulation sticks. And for a while, the first month, you didn't get any flashy face to tell tell that we were fertile at all, so we yeah, didn't worry. Yeah, it's like they didn't really work. Mm. And then obviously then panic set in. So I just thought, oh gosh, like, I'm not ovulating here, my body's not releasing eggs. We decided to stick with these these tests. Obviously these tests are mega expensive. Yeah. So we stayed with them for another month. Here. What's happening? I've got pains. I get pain when I ovulate. But before, last month, I thought, well, I don't know. We get confused, don't we? Yeah. It's def it is definitely ovulation pain really worrying my cycle is getting like it's like 40 days how long is it meant to be to how long is it meant 28 to be? days what <laughs> how is that possible i don't know i think it's because you know those tablets that we're taking mm. they the side effects are that it it lengthens, lengthens it. it what so that you got more chance yeah of getting pregnant because oh. it like it's something to do with i don't know there is a technical i've been writing it all down as well if you're watching this and you're trying for a baby the best thing to do i think is to write everything down i didn't do it for the first couple of months but you get to know like your cycle cycle then but like, i thought i knew my cycle but clearly i didn't cycle length the dates that i ovulated or got my flashy smiley face last month we didn't get a, we didn't get a solid smiley face did we because no. i ran out of sticks because my cycle is so long but this month we bought 20, didn't we? We bought 20 sticks. Yeah. So now I've been, had a flashy face for one, two, three, four, five days. This is the fifth day that I've had a smiley, flashy face. <laughs> and in case anybody doesn't know, on the sticks, if you're not fertile, you get a round circle, don't you, with no face. Yeah. Then if you're like, if there's a high chance of fertility, you get a flashy smiley face. And if you're peak, which is like, you need to go, 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 go now. You get a solid smiley face, don't you? Yeah. But we haven't had a solid smiley face yet. No, we haven't. But we'll get one of them either tomorrow or Tuesday. So on the 24th of September was when I got my first ever flashy smiley face. She's got a smiley face. But it's been late. It's been late, doesn't it? Yeah. You're getting worried, weren't you? <laughs> I'm so happy to see that. <sighs> you were thinking that there wasn't any power, weren't you? Yes, I was. What does that mean? That means hi. And when it's just a fair smiley face, not a flush. So that means.
What do you just throw? Stupid pen! <laughs> Pencil case for the pens and none of the work. What are you writing? Please cough postman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Because I don't know what you want. <laughs> so we went back to the drawing board, didn't we? And yeah. I'd done a lot more research around ovulation sticks and a lot of people were saying, please do First not one. use the clear blue ovulation sticks. So I tried the just plain sticks from Amazon where you get two lines and lo and behold, I reached my peak that month. So mm. I don't know what was going on with the clear blue one. I don't know if it was sensitive enough, but yes, I did reach a peak. And they were a lot easier to track those other ones because you could stick them in your book, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, and you could see the lines see getting the darker. Patterns. Do you want to show them your cheap ovulation sticks you bought? Yeah. So we ran out of the expensive ones. What were they? 25 quid a pop. Yeah. The other ones were 25 quid a pop and Elle got through them because she was doing about seven a day. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? No. <laughs> I just started no. them way too early, I think. Mm. And we think we figured that my ovulation day is a lot later in the month than what my app says. Yeah. So no wonder we haven't got pregnant for... Yeah, the app. I don't think the app's been... It's not been very accurate. So if you are trying for a baby, make sure you get the fertility sticks. Mm. The ovulation sticks, so you know exactly when you're ovulating, because we got it totally wrong. <laughs> but, about, by about a couple of days, so... But Elle was fertile and it showed up. Now we're waiting. Elle's been having this pain in her tummy. Yeah, right here. In the bottom of her tummy. It's but she... sharp stabbing pains. For a couple of days now, isn't it? Well, I had it... Yes, see, I've got it now. Oh. But you Googled it and it says that it could be... Yeah, it's either ovulation pain, which I, this says I didn't ovulate today. So I don't think it's that. But I just ovulated. I just um, Googled pain mm. when trying to conceive. And apparently it could be the egg and the sperm meet in the womb wall. Or you, I don't know what that we more. Could be. The lining. Let's hope. Embedding itself in the lining. You get it about five, six days after, which would make sense because it's yeah. about it's... five days after now. Yeah. It's tough, isn't it? Because you don't want to get your hopes up. I know, because we do this every month. Mm. Well, I do, and then I cry and it's not. <laughs> I know, I hate it. But I hate, I hate seeing you upset as well because there's like, nothing I can do about it. No. There's nothing either of us can do about it, it's no. just stupid. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. Right, hello everybody, I have got to talk quiet because I'm currently sat in my car outside of the house because I don't want Fab to hear this. But, and I don't want, please, I don't want this to drink. Oh my God, please don't drink it. Right, so I'm assuming that you would have seen the footage that me and Fab have been trying for a baby. Um. So, Right now it is the 2nd of July. I am currently three days late coming on my period. Fab doesn't actually know that, because um, I haven't told him, like I haven't told him when I was due on, because I don't want to get us excited, because obviously last month it didn't happen. Um, so potentially it kind of just stops. It can't it again. <laughs> God, right, so. I'm three days late. Um, I've been having a few like little things happening. Like last night I was watching Love Island in bed and I was just like laying on Fab's chest and all of a sudden I just went like really, really dizzy. I felt as if I was like gonna pass out. Um, I was at the gym as well and the same thing happened. I've been getting really bad headaches, um, like just randomly throughout the day. And I've also been having like little like tummy cramps as if it's feeling like I'm gonna come on my period. And then like it just like goes away again um so yeah i've been having like a few little symptoms i'm gonna oh my god so i did a test last month and i did one of the early ones and obviously it was negative um and it it like i think it gave me a little bit of a reality check that like getting pregnant doesn't just happen like they tell you in school it takes a while so i'm gonna do a pregnancy test tomorrow morning and hopefully <laughs> 
be able to do it without Fab hearing me because obviously we live together, the house is not exactly that big. So I'm going to try and get up like, quite early and go downstairs and do it. Talking babies, so I thought I'd just turn the phone on and film it. Elle is not far off her period. She's saying she's tomorrow. tomorrow. I mean, and we really gave it a good go this month. Uh, <laughs> oh. We really gave it a good go, and she said she's getting period pains. Well, I'm getting aches in the bottom of my stomach, like aching. Well, we who knows? We honestly don't know at this and point. I, get, I normally get the pain, that pain. Right, the same sort of pain. Yeah. We've, we've just said, if it doesn't happen this month, we're gonna go to the doctors and just get like a check because we have been trying now for a long time. Well, a while. Yeah, I'd say that was our first month properly like. Well, no, it, prop it wasn't. It wasn't the first month properly going for it because we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've yeah. been doing the right thing. If anyone's going through, or has been through what we're going, like what we're going through at the moment, you'll understand exactly what we mean by how much of like it just becomes a bit of a chore. The whole yeah. situation. It does kind of take the fun out of mm -hmm. that whole scenario. Not that it, well, it doesn't, but it's just when like we were exhausted when you're tired. <laughs> When you're like absolutely knackered, yeah, it's just not the one, is it really? No, I mean it's. Just, but it's hard. When work. you're in this situation, you've got to do it. Exactly, and when we have a baby and we have our child, it will be so worth it. All this. We are heading food shopping now. Um, that has no relevancy to this baby. This, this baby, this video, but just. Do you reckon we'll put this video up before or after we're pregnant? After. I guess it depends. After. I think, I think if you're watching this video the... right now, then we would have already announced no. that we've got a baby. Because if we've got to have like IVF and stuff, surely we're going to put this out before that. Most that likely scenario work. is, right now, we've already announced that we're having a baby and this is like our journey to that. So, hey, future child might even be watching this. I apologise for the embarrassment of us. Talking about, talking about you, yeah. But you took your bloody time to come. Yeah, you little shit. Put your clothes away as well. <laughs> We've tried all of the like supplements that you can buy in the stores, and I've tried multiple ones. Um, we've also tracked like my ovulation and tried again, um, but still nothing. Um, so we're basically calling you to see what our next steps are. Yeah. You know, a lot of things um, in primary care. Yeah. So that will involve you having blood tests. Yeah. And your partner having a semen analysis. Okay. Sperm test. Yeah. So is, is he registered with our practice? He he is. Um, he has registered, but he's in the currently in the like um the wait the backlog of. In the, in the black hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of, of getting an okay. appointment. Okay. Um, I mean, if he's actually registered, we if he doesn't need an appointment. We can go ahead and and, and organise that. But let's um, okay. let's just get you sorted first. You know, you're you're looking at it at, at a good age. It's you know, yeah. um, but but don't get despondent. What usually happens is we start doing all the investigations and then you get pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So there's some very silly questions I need to ask. But are you having regular intercourse? Yes. <laughs> well, we decided to book in with the doctors, didn't we? Mm. And we, we've just done a phone consultation, what Ellen has. Just like first stages of what to do. Um, told her our situation, the fact that Ellen's taking folic acid. Um, we haven't actually showed you yet as well, but we've also bought some new tablets so that I can take them as well. Mm. It's like his and hers, isn't mm. it? Which we're going to start today. 
hopefully if we, were, we need we to ask the doctor to, actually yeah i'll ask one ask time. her but the doctor has just said that ellen they're gonna book ellen in for blood tests and she hates she hates needles she's got a massive phobia you can out. do it I though passed out. you've this done it the loads same doctor that i'd passed out with and i she said to me after she goes are you feeling right like, no i feel dizzy <laughs> she was like whoa okay she was like what, you recognize her voice yeah it's, it's the, the same, same doctor, doctor oh and then i have got to do I won't say this too loud because there's people outside of the car. A semen test, which I've never had to do before in my life. Um, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, that's the latest and greatest. We're going to go and train, but we're just waiting for her to call she's back. Got to call us back. So she's trying to figure out. So I've got to have my blood test taken, and then we've got to do an ovulation test. But apparently, well, we know from doing our tests, it's literally like a slam bam you've got an egg for eight hours off you go oh yeah but so we've got to time it right but it's progress mm, my cycles are a bit all over the place at the moment hopefully so. this will all work out she just said that a lot of people call and in the middle of them trying to get them sorted they end up getting pregnant and it's complete obviously completely so. normal but it has been like almost a year now that we've been trying so well it's been like a year. Yeah, a year. Oh. Right, so it needs to be taken seven days before, the blood test needs to be done seven days before your first day of your next period, which, as you can see, that's difficult to know until... Yeah. So I would suggest you have your first blood test done on day 20. Here we go. They look a bit dodgy. <laughs> Should you just take one? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Enormous. Have to snap one in and out. Big gulp. I gotta do that every day. Yeah. So these have got like zinc and stuff in them and zinc gives you really weird dreams because I used to take it because it's a good supplement for like training and stuff. And oh, sleep. Yeah, you said that we were gonna put them in the morning, didn't we? Yeah. Here's to having weird dreams. I didn't even cry once. I knew you cried. You absolutely women. smashed that. Check your mirrors. I did. Good girl. I'm very proud of you. She smashed her blood test. That was the best I've ever seen you do it. <laughs> Off to she work now. Really nice, yeah, she was really nice. She was gentle, like me and the there. Good. God, I hate it when they have it on the. Did you see her on the desk though? I was yeah. trying so hard not to look at it. I was like, don't look at it. Don't yeah. Look at it. Good job. We waited patiently for those results, didn't we? Yeah. And just to point out as well, um, if you are going to the doctors and you're a woman, they will offer you an internal scan as well. I had had to go for an internal scan the year before because I was having other issues with like, bloating and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, but I went for an internal scan the year before, so I didn't actually have to go for an internal scan this time round. They kind of looked at PCOS and Endo and endometriosis. I can't never say it. Mm. Um, so those two things were ruled out for me, but I needed to just make sure that I was ovulating and releasing an egg. So I had to have the blood test on my twenty-first day of my cycle, which was um, wasn't it at a certain time as well? Had to be like had eight be, in the morning. Yeah, at the had certain to be time. at a certain time. And then the first one wasn't it your prolactin, which is like the stress hormone or something like that, was yeah. too high because yeah. Ellen's like terrified of needles and her yeah. mom, she's got a lot better now, but she's still got a real phobia of it. So today is the sixth of December. I think the last time we updated you was when Ellen just started doing this. <laughs> now she is so a way into that. Do you want to show it? So you can see this day here was the day I clearly ovulated. Which day? Let's show it. <laughs> you can see there where Ellen's pointing, the line on the left hand side, there look, that is where Ellen ovulated according to these strips. We think we managed to catch it, didn't we? Wow, you just never know. We you hope so. Know. We hope we did. This doesn't actually tell you if you ovulated just because obviously we've done our research over the last year. Um, it just gives you an indication of you having an L, is it LH? Yeah, LH surge, okay. which basically happens, I think that happens before ovulation. So like, it's some sort of like chemical 
that you have a surge of. Right. And this that's what this picks up. It doesn't actually pick up if you actually release an egg and ovulate. The only way that you can do that is either through an ultrasound, which obviously I don't have an ultrasound machine, <laughs> or um, by taking your basal body temperature. Okay. Which is why now we've got, well, we, I, yeah. have got this this stick which basically links to an app on my phone so i test my temperature as soon as i wake up in the morning and put it on my phone now this is something new that we're going to try um from now on but yeah hopefully this works well, hopefully indicates I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah who knows you, you could well be no well we don't know do we, we don't know we're cracking on with this so we're trying the temperature also what are you doing this morning i've got to go for another blood test this morning because in my last blood test, they said that my prolactane was too high. Like I had a really high level of prolactane, which it can either be not very, not a very good sign for fertility, or it can just be the fact that I was so stressed because it's very um, sensitive. Sensitive to stress, isn't it? Yeah. So, so she's going again today. Brave girl. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> You've come a long way since I met you with getting your injection. You're going to be fine. Oh, you're testing your heart rate. <laughs> You'll be fine. You can do it. Okay, it's just so hard not to stretch. It's so I know, hard. I know. Well, it's when it's a phobia. It's like being chased by a tiger, but being like, don't panic. I know. <laughs> she had her second one done, and it was absolutely fine. Yeah. And then at that stage, she was like, Fab, I think you should maybe get tested. And I was like, don't be silly. I'm going to be fine. Like, naive to it all. Um, but I agreed signed up to Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospital, which would then be the weirdest experience of my life. Just arrived at Birmingham Women's Hospital. Today is the day. This is gonna be a very strange experience. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, it's fine. Don't That's probably fall. a big factor in there. I'm probably a huge factor. Are you ready for the baby stack? Boom! Because if you're being told stuff like that, you want your questions answered, full stop. I'm so, like, worried 